Hello my lovelies, Aquarius, my aqua sauce. Let's see what's going on for you in this first week of October. Tomorrow on YouTube, I will have your monthly forecast up for each of the 12 zodiac signs, so check those out. Let's see what our song is for the week, what's happening. Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. I get the sense that there is somebody, and I do feel like it's a somebody, that you keep going back to in your mind over and over again. This could be an old flame of yours, this could be somebody that you have a history with, and it's like things just keep circling, but I don't feel like there's a lot of forward progress. So I feel like we need to realize if this is a cycle that we finally need to let go of, or if this is something that can actually gain some momentum going forward. What do we need to see for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? There we go. All right, Spirit's encouraging you to actually trust your instincts. The King of Swords can be really hard to deal with, and I feel like this is a repetitive cycle that needs to be broken. I feel like you and this person are kind of like oil and water. You just don't really mix well together, but I do feel like there's new opportunities coming in. Can you let go of this cycle to get to this new beginning? If you're able to see things logically and trust your intuition and the wisdom that is coming from source energy, I feel like this opens up this new opportunity. You might not be a good fit for the other person. So if it's a repetitive thing that you need to let go of, let it go. There's new opportunities trying to take its place. I feel like there's some creativity. There's lots of passion coming forward. The Ace of Wands tells us that it's um, something that is a new beginning for us to create, to be artistic, to step into things that we're passionate about. It could also be a passionate new encounter with somebody new. This may lead to enlightenment for you. It's um, spiritual enlightenment. It's ascension. It's also marriage. So are you in a commitment that's healthy or are you in a commitment that's toxic? And you are going to know that for sure. There is a period of abundance coming in for you. I feel like you've worked very hard to achieve this and now you finally get to sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. So you reap what you sow, the hard work does pay off. You gotta stand up for what it is that you want. I feel like somewhere in life you have to take some action. I feel like that takes a lot of courage for you to face your fears in order to be able to move forward towards something new in your life. So judgments out here being called telling us that there is some sort of divine intervention that's assisting you on your spiritual path at this time. I love the depiction on this card. So if you look closely, that's her soul, her spirit energy, and she's connecting with it through the ethers. So the divine is giving you all of the tools that you need to see. The staircase leads to enlightenment, and as he comes back down, he's got all the answers, and that's why he's laughing. He's elated. So spirit's trying to intervene on your behalf. They're trying to steer you away from things that are no good for you and towards things that are meant for you. Are you willing to see the signs? Judgment is also a card of um, karma being dealt, and Saturn's still in retrograde until the end of November, I believe. So Saturn is the planet of karma. There's some sort of retribution that's being paid to clean the slate to get you to this new opportunity. Choose wisely. Remember, trusting your instincts and intuition is going to keep you away from snakes or danger. It's also going to guide you towards who and what is meant for you but you need some boundaries. So remember that boundaries indicate that we have a line that shouldn't be crossed. So if people are using you or manipulating you, that's gonna come to light so that you have the opportunity to cut that off or to continue a cycle. Remember your song was time after time. So I feel like the deception is gonna be revealed. You might be seeing the number seven, seven. Um, I feel like some changes need to happen in your life. It's going to be illuminated. You're going to get the enlightenment to see the truth. Judgment is going to assist you in cleaning house and kind of dealing karma. And that's where we get to the good stuff. So if you're able to close out the negative cycles in your life, this leads to prosperity. The Wheel of Fortune is literally good luck being turned in your favor. And it is divine justice because this is karmic and destined. So there's nothing that's going to interfere in what's coming for you that's positive because it is karmically owed to you. It's got your name on it. 
please close out the cycles that are negative for you in your life. Be brave enough to say no, that it's not worth your time, so that you can enjoy the blessings that are coming. Have a great week.